What's going on, everybody? We're coming right off of the last one, onto this one. We're one win away from Platinum 1, which means we're five wins away from Diamond 5, I guess. So let's go into it. Plain branded, same deck list. Check it out in the other videos if you want more detailed. This is more about talking through our plays, getting into the next rank. So let's hope... We don't go against Eldritch again, because boy howdy, that deck is boring to play against. Um, we have lost quite a few dice rolls today, though. We lost against Orcus, we won against Eldritch, we lost against Rock. Um, but we won two of those three games, so... This hand's good. Ish. Depending on what our next draw is. Oh hey, look, it's a Moe. I think that's crazy. Reveal Emergence. So gross. I mean, we hit the Moye, but they have emergence anyway, so this doesn't really feel that good. This just this forces them to extend and not end on a on a strong board. Yep, there's the emergence. <clears throat> Add the long one, of course. So they go for the eight, they go, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Um, oh boy, okay. Albaz, how much attack do you have, big guy? Not a lot, <laughs> not a lot. All right, we're gonna set, we're gonna set, <laughs> we're gonna set, we're gonna summon Albaz. We're gonna go to battle face. <laughs> yeah. We're gonna end our turn. This is not looking great. Um, drawing another imperm. Oh my god. Yeah, bro. You got it, dog. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, Saki. All right, looks like we're two wins away from plot one because I had to open my big stupid idiot mouth. Um, I mean, we could draw Albaz here, actually. Yeah, whatever. And I, I, I guess, I mean, sure, this is fine. God, literally anything. Patchwork? That doesn't do it, though. Like, patchwork doesn't do it. This doesn't help me. Cool. That's yeah, fine, dog. Like, a Luber or Brand Fusion, and I was fine. Alright, well, we have a turn, I guess. I guess Branded Fusion, I wasn't fine because uh, he had a hand trap, so it actually doesn't matter, but. Oh my god. Oh my lord. What a what a miserable way to lose that duel. That was gross. All because I had to open my idiot mouth to say that we were two wins away. I, I'm just stupid. That feels gross. I didn't lose to him. I lost to my deck. Why do I open this card? I play one of it. Like, why do I open it? I open it so often. 
kind of crazy. Baylor. Imper. Pretty good. Yep. <clears throat> you wouldn't know I play a bunch of spell cards from the last... The, uh last game that I just played. You know, all those spell cards I opened. Look at all these monster cards I play in my deck. But, you know, you wouldn't know that. There's Burn Infusion. All right, make Lubellion. Hey. <clears throat> this card tragedy. Or just card comedy, activate tragedy. My bad, my bad. Well, let's see if we can win the mirror. Just ad lib. Make uh, mirror jade. So you're not killing me this turn. You're gonna do 4,800, but you're not killing me. Even the slightest. Main phase two, do you activate Lubellion? You set Brandon in red. Hmm. Suspicious. Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. Huh. Well, that's interesting. So we have a couple of different scenarios here, right? We don't want to super poly immediately. We want the, the back row is threatening us, basically. Um, if we hit the back row now and it is Brandon in red, then we're kind of okay. Um. I think we use our own Brandon and Red here to hit the Brandon and Red. Yeah, we're going to activate Elblitch. Discard Brandon and Red. Hit the back row. Yeah, Maxi's fine. Oh, I can chain Super Poly now so he doesn't draw a card. I'm actually okay with this. Then he doesn't get to draw off my special summon. Uh, Masquerade's pretty good, right? Then whatever he does, I just gain off of. <clears throat> yep, it was Brandon in red. Okay. That's gonna trigger. He's gonna he basically gets to like screw us up. Um We're gonna brand infusion, see if he has the ash blossom. He doesn't. The problem is I have to discard a card from my hand. And that's like kind of tricky, right? And I'm trying to avoid that at all costs here. So I think we Albion here using this and Snow. Summon the Albion, the Branded Dragon. 
Go ahead and activate Albion's effect. Um... Go for a Titanoclad? Yeah, I kill him. If I go for a Titanoclad, it's enough damage. Because I just banish my Albaz and the Albich that's in Grave. And then um, it's enough damage to just win the game. Um, right there. So, uh, Plus I had Mercurier in hand in case he had Nibiru of any kind. So like we were, we were kind of doing just fine. Um, we we played that we played that exactly how we were supposed to. Uh, having the Eldritch to out the Brendan Red, like without outing the Brendan in Red, the Super Poly wouldn't have done as much. Um, he wouldn't have been able to make Chimera, but he would have been able to have Mira Jade. Um, so we would have been in a pickle. Oh boy, man, what is up with dupe cards, man? So we're just gonna activate Patchwork. Grab Polly, grab Edge of Chain. Um, we're gonna activate Polly. I'm gonna summon Masquerade, I guess, right? With this and this. Set the Masquerade. Uh, chain Link 1, Edge of Chain, Chain Link 2, Dramaturge. Grab Patchwork. Okay. Set. Set. Pass. This is not a strong board. This is not a strong board at all. Uh, much stronger if we were playing Verte. Because we make Verte send Branded Fusion, summon Mirror Jade, but um, this is also kind of okay, because like we have Burn plus plus monster negation, plus extra deck monster negation. Yeah, I'm fine with this. I'm like very okay with this. One, two, there's Nibiru. Nice playing the Gamma stuff too, huh? Like Alpha, Beta, Gamma, Delta, like the, the Magma Warriors. Yep, there's Gamma. Okay. You can activate its effect. Um, so he normal summoned, right? So we can force him to extend here. We negate this. Droplet, huh? That's kind of interesting. That's really unfortunate. So he dodges the imperm with the droplet, negates my masquerade. So he's no longer getting burned. Good of him to hold that too, because then he gets pluses. Plus now he dodged the imperm with it right so like really kind of like up front on him uh we can go ahead and imperm this one though i mean if he has researcher he has it like if he has one of the emancipator extenders then like he got me Um, he can go into Hulk, but Hulk gets negated by Dramaturge, so... IP? Uh, yeah, that's fine. Ah, you had it anyway. Oh, Block Dragon! Okay, yeah, that's pretty good. You have Block Dragon in hand. It's really good. Okay. 
Um, unicorn is good. Um, targeting. I'm assuming you're targeting Dramaturge. Oh, you had another droplet in your hand. That's kind of nuts. It all kind of depends on what he targets here. Okay, yeah, he, he's he's forcing out the Dramaturge. Because <sighs> he's going to go into access code. And this is why Block Dragon was banned. Oh, he can't go into access code, actually. He doesn't have enough stuff. He can't banish another Earth. He doesn't have enough Earths. Oh, thank goodness. Unless his other card in his hand is an Earth. Um, but Gigantus is now in his hand. Oh, right. He gets just to add three Earths because that's how good that freaking card is. This is why this card should be banned. An Emancipator, full power An Emancipator is disgusting. There's Gigantis, so now he can actually go into access code with no issues. If he didn't have the droplet, he was dead to just card effects. Oh, we lose here, by the way. There's nothing we can do about this. We're about to lose this. Um, he missed. No, he didn't. He hit three. He hit three. Okay. Oh, yeah, you use that effect, but you didn't use that effect to summon, so you're fine. Okay. Look at that. I interrupted him three times, and he still has this whole board because this card says, this card here says add three. Card's broken. I mean, we're dead, right? There's nothing we can do here. I opened my big, fat, idiotic mouth, and because I said something, we're not gonna be able to win our games. The like three game, the two games that we need just to get to the next. Access code. Crazy. He only has one pop with access code, though. Um, so I'm assuming he's going to pop the defense and then hit the Dramaturge. But that's probably okay. Okay. Oh, goody, Union Carrier. How I love this freaking card. Union Carrier, attach, block dragon. Or attach the Buster Drake. <clears throat> attach Nibiru. Why would you attach Nibiru? That's not right. I guess he has two pops now. He can send the light. If he really wanted to, he could send the light. Yep, that's good. Yep, send the light. Yep. Battle phase, take 
Summon Masquerade, Dragon back again. He can summon block. Oh no, block Spanish, so he can't summon block. Okay, that's good. Draw. Looks like the best draw on the deck. Uh, patchwork. Whatever he has is chainable. Could be Imperm. That was cool. Um, yeah, I mean, we won the duel. <laughs> we like, I could have summoned. I didn't, I could have played around the Imperm uh, by summoning an Egypt chain and activating polymerization, fusing the two monsters on the field, plus the Albaz, popping the two cards. Uh, then drawing one, and then like going crazy. All right, there's there it is. Next is 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 diamond. Four wins away, baby. Four wins away. We can do it. I swear we can do it. But that will be for another video. Thanks so much for watching. Comment down below. Like the video. Subscribe for more. I'll see you in the next one. Happy dueling, everybody.